Hey, it was Adam Phil Tesman. I want to hear back on some month 15, bringing back the theme team series. And I'm very, very excited because this series allows me to play with players in month 15 that I would not play with if I had the choice because they're low overall cards. I don't really like these players too much, but because I'm doing a theme team series, it gives me a chance to showcase you guys different types of players in Mutt and keep the gameplay fresh and really awesome. So let's get right into it. The theme team series I'm choosing for today is going to be the 2015-2016 Miami Dolphins. Let's check it out. At quarterback, we got Ryan Tannehill coming in at six foot four, married to one of the most attractive women in the world. Look how pretty she is. Ryan Tannehill, this guy, 6'4", 87 speed, 90 throw accuracy mid with 93 throw accuracy short. He has one of the worst deep balls ever. Like, he cannot connect in a deep ball. It got so bad that the Dolphins had to pretty much scrap their receiving core of Mike Wallace and Brian Hartline. Mike Wallace is now in Minnesota and Brian Hartline is in Cleveland. And they had to go get a bunch of possession receivers because Ryan Tannehill is so bad at the deep ball. It's going to be Alex Smith City down there in Miami. It's going to be fun watching this guy play in 2015, 2016. But in my series, we're going deep. And we're going to test that deep ball accuracy out. So that's Ryan Tannehill at quarterback. At halfback, we got no Sean Moreno. This guy is going to be starting halfback, even though Lamar Miller is the guy I should be going with. Moreno was the starting halfback for Miami this season and got out with an injury, so he'll come back next year big and strong. But Lamar Miller, though, straight line speed, one cut halfback. The cliches keep falling out my mouth. This guy is very, very fast, and Moreno is very, very slow. And trust me, I have played plenty of games with Moreno. That speed being 89 is such a detriment to the team. So Lamar Miller might be the starting halfback sometime soon throughout this series. But we got him there. We also ended up picking up Michael James and Mike Gilsley, who are also the Miami Dolphins. At wide receiver number one, guy who they got from the Saints. They stole him. They stole Kenny Stills from the Saints for a really cheap and expiring contract in uh, Darnell Ellerby. Kenny Stills, number one. Landry at the number two. These two guys should be a great one-two punch. Kenny Stills does have great straight line speaking down the field and be a great deep threat. But since Ryan Tannehill is not a good deep ball thrower, we're going to have to go ahead and throw a lot of check downs, a lot, a lot of curls, a lot of quick slants, a lot of passes that need to get open in open space without having to worry about this guy going out of field because Tannehill is not going to hit those deep balls, even though we will try. Landry last year was a slot receiver, and I think I might put this guy back in the slot because Rashid Mathis, Rashard Mathis, this guy, <laughs> whew. He's not good. He's not good at all. You guys can see he's six foot. He's just he's not good. He's just not good. So I think I might put Landry back in the slot because Mathis cannot make those tough catches across the middle of the field. But that is our receiving core. Oh, I forgot to mention Kevin Cohn. Kevin Cohn. Yo, Kevin Cohn's girlfriend's pretty. <laughs> She's very pretty. This team leads the league in attractive fiancés and also receding hairlines. Moving on to the offensive line, and I'm very proud of this offensive line. Like, this is not bad. This is not a bad offensive line. We got Brandon Albright at the left tackle spot. We got Shelly Smith. We got Sam Brenner, or whatever the hell this guy's first name is. We got Mike Pouncey playing right guard. And we got Joanna Man James playing left tackle. He is He's really good. He has really good attributes. Like, look at this. This guy is pretty good for a rookie. He has good awareness. He has good strength. He has good pass block and pass block footwork, of course. doesn't matter. But good run block as well. A pretty good impact block. So this is a pretty damn good card to have at right tackle i think i might switch him and brandon albert out a couple times in the season because so far playing i have time but when i get beat brandon albert he gets beat badly so i might need to switch these two have john Juan james in my left tackle and have a brandon albert from right tackle so for now we're gonna go roll with the guys we got right here on the offensive line and at tight end we got jordan cameron who somehow end up tricking the Dolphins into overpaying for him by saying he signed with the Browns and the Dolphins gave this guy a bunch of money. So much money, they let Charles Clay walk, who I think is a better tight end and would have fit my team better because he's a better blocker. But Jordan Cameron is not terrible. He's not terrible at all. I paid 40 k for this guy's card. I really wish Charles Clay would have stayed on. Charles Clay is, in my opinion, a better tight end than Jordan Cameron because he stays healthy more consistently, but whatever. We'll go ahead and use Jordan Cameron for now. He is a bad run blocker, but he is a great receiving threat. So we got some good receivers out here. We got a good offensive line. We got a good running back. Offense, we should be very, very fine. But on defense, man, this is going to be a long season because we don't have any depth at all. Like, look at this. Because they paid Indomitian Sue all that money, he got paid a bunch of money, more money than a quarterback, more money than J.J. Watt, who was the best player in football. We got Indomitian Sue 
at the middle. You got Olivier Vernon. Randy Starks is not longer there. Jared Ayrig is no longer there. So we have no D tackle number two. We got Cameron Wake, whose card is a beast. I paid 500,000 coins to this guy card for this series. So let's go ahead and see what he can do for us on this team. But, man, like this is going to be a very long season because we have no depth at all. We got Derek Shelby backing him up at cornerback. We got Bryce McCann. We got Brent Grimes. And if anybody has Calvin Johnson, it's going to be a long day because Brent Grimes is not that tall. And Calvin Johnson is six foot five, and he pretty much can just do whatever the hell he wants to while Brent Grimes is guarding him. We got Will Davis, TJ Heath, and Jamar Taylor. We got Lewis Delmas. I thought I had the team of the week. What happened to that guy? I have him somewhere. Where is he at? Where is he at? There he is. I don't know what happened there. It's kind of weird. I guess I didn't save it. But we got Lewis Delmas playing free safety. He's fun. He's a very fun car to use. We got Don Jones, my bronze gym. This guy's pretty cool. 94 speed, and that's pretty much all I need. He has a good hit power pull with 86, but he can't catch. So, like, other than that, this card is just going to be a fast hit tackling power machine. At other states, we got Rashad Jones and Will Davis. And at the linebacking core, no depth once again. We got Deion Dorham playing outside linebacker because why the hell not? He's six foot six, and he's just a straight glitch at that spot. He catches picks, he hits hard, and. He is very fun to user. And we also got Cole Amici, Jeremy Truesnick, or Jason Truesnick. And we got Jelani Jenkins, who was also a pretty damn good card when he first came out. I used to use this card back in the day. 86 speed, 87 zone coverage. A pretty damn good outside linebacker, if you ask me. Our specialists include Brandon Fields and Caleb Sturgis. And there's a slogan down there in Miami. It goes, Sturgis makes me nervous. And he makes me nervous, too, because his kick power woo, is 90. That's not that good. That's not that good. So it might be like I, I might have to go for it a lot on fourth and long when I'm in the red zone because this guy's kick power kind of scares me. So hopefully that's not the case. We also got Marino backing him up again as a third down back. And we got Michael James and Don Jones returning our punts and kicks. So our team looks very nice on offense. Offense, we look very fine. Defensively, we have no depth, and we have no depth, and not having any depth means Ryan Fitzpatrick is the fastest guy on the field, and that should not be the case, especially with the guys like Cameron Wake and Dominic and Sue Vernon, Deion Jordan, Johnny Jenkins. So it's going to be a very long season. Hope you guys are in for the ride. Hit that thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the theme team series, and I'll catch y'all mother bleepers with a gameplay coming up soon. Peace. Be Kenny still. Down. 60 minutes is going down.